Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for another Fall Guys filler episode. Uh, you know the rules, if you've been to one before, no guarantee of a win, no guarantee of a final, no crowns, no nothing. It's basically just me waffling while I play Fall Guys. Um, I think last week I talked about possible games um, sort of thing. These are all shot, like one after the other, so... If you were here last week, you heard me talk about possible games that might come in at, what's next month? July. Um, for July. Uh, so, yeah. That's if this ends up being, like, the following episode to the last filler. It should. The idea is to do all of June as fillers and then, you know. I'll start recording, um other stuff like a, a new series in July because um, by then hopefully all, all the health stuff's back in the green or at least greener than what it was uh, I'm not going to go into specifics as to what was up um, I'm better than I was and that's about all I really want to share about it um, yeah so we're back in knockout for this week um of course you know if we end up disconnecting or whatever again um we might go back to a creative rounds just to finish off if you know depending on the time um but yeah it's sort of frustrating that we don't get many of the old uh like classic levels anymore um, but I, I think I read somebody say the other day that one of the reasons why that is is because those older rounds were built in, I think they called it Unity, uh, and unfortunately they like increased the height of the jump and other things. So the old maps that would have been harder to play because you couldn't jump that high have now been made um, like super super easy that was actually very bad and I shouldn't have done that um, but yeah qualify in the end um, yeah most of the time I've been playing the knockout um, just because it's it's like sort of quicker to get the 10 rounds that you need for the daily thing. So I'm pretty sure last time I did two, I've done in the last episode, there was the two creative ones that I did. Um, yeah. It will still keep to the, you know, so hopefully 10, 15 minute mark. Um, not really keen on anything longer than that. And, uh, you know, we'll just... We'll just take our time and, and get there when we get there, sort of thing. Sorry, I have a very itchy leg tonight. Um, I think basically because like, it's got unusually cold. We've had sort of warm days, um, which is kind of weird for like the start of winter. Um, anyway, this one sort of tends to be a fairly quick round most of the time. Um, because other people get eliminated and that doesn't always happen but you know um, that this is sort of one of the old classic rounds that actually managed to survive okay I'm probably in the, the danger zone now because I know that fan is behind me somewhere um, it's kind of weird because most of the time this actually has like the double um uh you know the double arm as the last option oh we're only it's about to say one person away from qualifying anyway so yeah yeah for the for the most part that's actually had like the double arm um for the last one that's I think the first time in months I've actually seen that play out with a single arm at the end. Um, it's kind of amusing, really. 
Oh. No. As long as I don't get disconnected most of the time, I uh, I do pass this round, so that's good. That gives me, what, three rounds? If I pass it, this will give me three rounds. Um, you can basically see how I do it. As long as I pull it off like I normally do. <laughs> most of the time I do, sometimes I sort of mess it up. But I've almost always... Um, qualified in this one this one I might not purely because of the um, you know the amount of people that can qualify at nine it's not very much it's basically just this you know drop down to this platform try to angle your camera so that you can see which side is going up um, and then aim backwards when you're doing the swing forward and that's it so if you ever play this round now you know how I win it I would say that for the majority of players that is actually how they beat this round um, it's basically you know it's like the quickest way to stay in the light and, and get to the end um, you don't really want to go for the drums or anything um, because you know you have to be like perfect you want to stay off those things so yeah I think not entirely sure but I think they've they have toned this down now so it's only like four rounds you don't keep going and going and going I think for a while it was actually three and then there was such a massive amount of like player backlash um that they added on one extra round um the finals for the most part that i've seen have retained the original game once um so yeah like i said there's no guarantee of a win um at least now they do actually show the countdown timer so you've got an idea of how long the round's got to go if you're going to try to clock it out or you know like run down the clock I should say um, has, it has been a while since the last time I won this um, though you know um, I think it's it's probably been like a solid month or so since I think the last of like the jump around tournaments which was basically just this level over and over again starts out with like one pole um, whoops, uh, moves to two then three and then I think this was the last level yeah So I'm sure this used to time out a lot quicker and stuff so these would start spinning a lot faster at a shorter period of time because um, normally you don't see um, like the rest of the floor drop off till nearer the end oh cool so we've got a grabber in here it's, which is always annoying uh, you might oh no nah might remember that I don't use grabbing in this um, I'm well past the filter period so I'm going to state it if you do it I think that you are a cunt and I think that you are fucking useless at the game um, that's basically all I have to say about it if you can't win the game legitimately then don't play the game I mean sh show your skill by not grabbing people sure it might be a mechanic in the game but it doesn't actually make you good and I think that's what people need to remember and that might sound bitter but I think that it's actually quite a valuable truth in the game um, we'll just do another explore thing just to you know get the time out um, but yeah like If you have to resort to sort of a dirty tactic in order to win um, it really sort of shows your lack of skill in a game you know 
in my opinion. Because I think the best players you ever see in this are people that don't use the grabbing tactics and stuff. Um, they might exploit part, you know, parts of the map that you can sort of get away with. But they're not really, you know, they're leaving it everyone to have a fair chance of winning. Ow. Very, very itchy legs tonight. I will also state that I really hope that um, you can't hear me scratching my legs. I have headphones on, so I don't know whether or not you actually could. Oh shit. Um, could or not. But one would hope not, because, you know, um, it's not exactly the nicest of sound, no, God say. I'm not really sure why there's that sort of slip off. It's just kind of weird. Maybe it's it's just the specific angle of things. Oh. Well. No, like. Oh shit. She's a language. This is one of the other things that frustrates me about the creative rounds. I just think at times, you know, like, it takes away from the fun of the level. Um, to do it. Like I said, uh, well, I said in the previous episode, I'm trying not to um, get too stressed and stuff. Don't get too frustrated, it's just a game, etc, etc. I do wonder if I should spend some time myself, you know, trying to build a round. But I don't know what kind of round I would build. I think one of the other things I should note in this is that I'm pretty sure these particular rounds are not acu uh, actually curated. So, was it Mediatonic? Mediatronic? Whatever the hell their name is. They don't actually check the rounds before they add them to the rotation. They just add them to the rotation. Um, so unfortunately you can end up in areas where like, you know. There might not actually be any um, finishing for the level sort of thing. You know, other than the creator can finish the level because they know the secret. Um, oh, well, I didn't get the... Hopefully that's not going to matter though. I don't know if they've actually... Yeah, I don't know if the last time I did this, if I actually had the... Um, you know like the rolling mechanic, the pickup mechanics in the game I don't, yeah, I don't remember that same noise or something um, yeah 
I don't. I can't actually remember when they got added in. Um. that finished. It's not too bad actually. Fairly good round. Now we'll collect our rewards. Um, yeah. And like the crown progress and stuff in this is now like pretty much automatic. So yeah, that's that's 5,000 meters done. Um, and stuff. I don't know if it's all of them done though, or it's just most of them. Oh, and the, um, like the emoticon, you know, stuff, all that's changed. It's kind of frustrating. Yeah, don't need to qualify from any level, so. Two more qualifications and the daily thing is done. Anyway, um, cheers for joining. Probably wasn't that uh, amusing. I don't even know if anyone watches this stuff. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week if you come back. Okay.